The only good thing about Monday is you can see us. Pillow talk. Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. So we did a video in the summer where we recast old romantic films with, with female all leads. women leads, women and gay. Therefore, making them gay. We're doing. Part, Part two. two. Um, this could be a whole series though, because one, it's a lot of fun to do. There are yep. so many movies. So like we picked six more movies that are like classic romantic either comedies or romantic dramas. So movie number one, The Princess Bride. If you haven't seen The Princess Bride, go watch it because it's first of all a great movie. It's a like a romantic fantasy fairy tale. It's like yep. really funny and sweet and I love it. Starring Robin Wright and some guy. <laughs> So we need Wesley and we need the Princess Bride. So this one we kind of went like full quirkiness. So as Wesley, we cast Aquafina. And as the Princess Bride, we cast Ali Wong. I just think this is gonna be hysterical. <laughs> just picture Aquafina saying as you wish over and over again though. Next movie is I believe it's considered a romantic comedy? I don't even know. Or it's just a drama. It's kind of twisted, but it's it? not. It's a pretty woman. Is that a romantic comedy? I guess that's a romantic I'm like comedy. I'm trying to think, I'm like, when I watch it, is it funny? <laughs> I don't know. But it's a classic. It's Richard Gere, Julia Roberts. He's like an older, rich guy. And she's... She's an escort. A, right? Prostitute. Yeah. And then he, like, <laughs> takes her in and gives her money. <laughs> but he, like, wants to fancy her up. Every girl's dream. So who could play? These you need a Richard Gere and a Julia Roberts. And a young Julia Roberts. Nicole Kidman as obviously Richard Gere. Obviously. And Emma Stone as Julia Roberts. I see it. I see it. I see she can be rough, tough, but Nicole Kidman is all class. As a sugar daddy. I want Nicole Kidman as my sugar daddy. So does everybody else. You're not special. <laughs> Next movie is more recent. It's a, it's a really big indie, indie hit. Indie rom-com. From like, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago now. It's 500 Days of Summer with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Zoe Deschanel. He dates a girl named Summer and then they For break up. And it's about 500 days of him getting over her. So you need the movie. like Zoe Deschanel character that would like break your heart so bad you can't get over her. But it's like super funny and cute and sweet. And then you need the Joseph Gordon-Levitt who is so just charming and sweet that he falls in love and dances. You know what, he's a little sad. A little bit. Yeah. Hmm. And do you know who that would be? It's Abby Jacobson. Mm -hmm. And who would be Summer? Issa Rae. That's good. That's good, great casting. We're in LA now. If any casting director is looking for assistance, <laughs> we are available. Classic romantic musical, mm -hmm. Shifting Gears, uh, we are going to do Grease, John Travolta and Sandy. I don't know what Olivia <laughs> Newton-John. I don't think I need to explain what Grease is about. Because it's the word. It's the word that you've heard. It's a high school musical. High school musical. Sandy They're is singing. a loser There's and John dancing. Travolta is a... There's drag racing. There's, There's a popular leather. kid. John Travolta is 100% like not gay in it. And we are making Grease Gay with... So we are going to recast Danny, who's John Travolta, as Janelle Monet. Mm -hmm. As Sandy, we couldn't resist Tessa Thompson. Just so they're in just another thing together where they fall in love. And they sing and dance. I don't know if Tessa Thompson can sing, it doesn't matter. I bet she can. Probably. <laughs> and she plays like a wide range of characters, so I could see her actually even pulling Sandy off. This is one of my favorite movies that I've watched a bazillion times. Mm -hmm. Sarah's never seen it, which is actually shocking to me. It's Notting Hill. I also am a huge you know, Julia I Roberts fan. I didn't fan. watch all of the Julia Roberts. I've seen all of them a million times. I was <laughs> Julia Roberts like growing up was like my little like my little gay idol for me. Oh. Julia Roberts plays you, Julia you, Roberts, okay. a huge <laughs> actor who is shooting a movie yeah. just outside of Notting Hill, and she literally crashes into Hugh Grant. Mm -hmm. Who spills who orange juice on Hugh her? Grant? Who kind of plays Hugh Grant, but not a famous Hugh Grant, like a loser Hugh Grant who owns a little bookstore. <laughs> uh -huh. And it's about basically a commoner falling in love with a huge celebrity. mega celebrity. Like, why can't we have a gay movie that's actually about that though? So, who are you recasting in Notting Hill? Well, Sarah, I'm casting Natalie Portman as Julia Roberts as the mega superstar. Mega superstar. And I'm going with a British actor. How original. <laughs> yes. Diversity. Uh, Claire Foy. All right. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Can I get you some coffee, Miss Portman? 
Is that the movie? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> The Sarah's reenactment of Notting Hill. Okay, we have the mega blockbuster of romantic action dramas, Titanic. Which, like, guys, do you know how hard it is to recast Titanic? Because it's Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, and the they're just perfect. The casting is perfect. So what we're saying is it's extremely hard to recast Titanic, and you can't just have Kate Blanchett in everything. Because it'd just be Kate Blanchett and Kate Blanchett. <laughs> and she'd be like both characters. Okay? She can play right. Jack and Rose. I mean, you could really have Kate Blanchett and Kate Winslet. Ugh. Oh. But who could be a good Jack and who could be a good Rose? So for Rose, we are gonna cast Leah Sadu. She's all class. And she's a tall babe. And she, you know, with all the action. And she's, and she's French, her, so she's, and she's just French, like. So, but she's better than uppity. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> uppity. As Jack, we are gonna cast Ruby Rose. She already has a haircut, so she's already got the hair. Hair. And like Ruby Rose could obviously, even though she's trash, be like like woo an upper class person. Right. And like can you see her like drawn Leah Sue I mean like, yeah, I'll take my clothes off for you, Ruby Rose. That's fine. <laughs> she's gonna be running around half the movie in handcuffs. It works. But see, but now they're two women, so they can both fit on the door. And it would have a happy ending. Happy ha end, ha 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 end. I have a hop ending. <laughs> you sound like Tommy Wiseau. Hop, hop, and, hop, hop ending. ending. Oh hi, bros. Those so are, that's it. Those what do you guys casting. think? It's amazing. Um, leave it in the comments if you would watch any of those recasted remakes. And leave in the comments, because um, we'll probably do another one of these, because they're fun. Uh, what movies you want to yeah. see us recast. Yeah. Any genre, as long as we make it gay. people can play any. Thank you for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We are back with a new video every Monday, Pillow Talk sketches series. So make sure you subscribe and click on the notifications so you find out when we post a new video on Monday. Monday's the day, you know? It's like- Yeah, it's everyone's favorite day, you, Monday. Right. Everyone loves it. There are memes about how much people love Monday. It's the silver lining to Monday. Us. The Gay Women channel. Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. We'll see you next Monday. Goodbye.